What if the first sign your bones are thinning isn't pain at all, but a sudden fall that changes your mobility, confidence, and independence? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're focusing on why brittle bones aren't just a woman's problem, how men are being missed, and what you can do to preserve strength with practical steps that start today. I'm Alara Skye. The headline is simple. One in five men over 50 will experience an osteoporotic fracture, yet most are never screened or counseled until a break occurs. Men also face higher death rates after fractures, which makes early recognition and action essential if you want to stay active and independent. The latest international guidance is clear. Men deserve the same diagnostic attention as women, and a unified bone density standard helps make that happen. Using one reference curve means your scan reflects actual fracture risk, rather than sex-based assumptions that delay treatment or lifestyle change. Risk climbs because remodeling tips toward breakdown as you age. You start reabsorbing calcium and phosphate from bone faster than you rebuild, and everyday habits accelerate the slide. Alcohol, smoking, and long stretches of inactivity signal your body to stop reinforcing bone, setting you up for a break from a minor twist or stumble. There's a structural twist for men. Women tend to lose trabecular connectivity, while men lose trabecular thickness but keep more of the internal links. That can mask early warning signs. You may feel fine until density crosses a threshold and a single event exposes the hidden fragility. Hormones matter more than most men realize. Testosterone converts to estradiol through aromatase, and that balance tamps down bone breakdown. Lower testosterone or impaired conversion speeds loss. If your bone mineral density is low, Screening testosterone is a rational step that can clarify why your remodeling has drifted in the wrong direction. Lifestyle is not a side note. It's the center of the plan. Weight-bearing and resistance exercise strengthen bone while improving balance and coordination to help prevent falls. Sunlight exposure supports vitamin D status for calcium absorption. Nutrient-dense foods supply the building blocks your skeleton needs to rebuild day after day. If you've been told to start a bone drug immediately, understand what that means. Bisphosphonates and denosumab don't create new, resilient bone. They suppress osteoclasts and stall the natural repair cycle. Over time, microcracks can accumulate. If your goal is durable strength, restoring healthy remodeling through consistent inputs is a logical first move. Testing choices matter too. DEXA is common but it relies on ionizing radiation and can be inconsistent. Radiofrequency Echographic Multispectrometry, or REMS, uses ultrasound to assess bone structure without radiation and provides a detailed look at how your bones handle stress. If you need a baseline or want to track progress from lifestyle changes, ask about REMS. Nutrition must match how bone is built. About half of bone is mineral and half is collagen. Vitamin D helps you absorb calcium. Vitamin K2 directs it into bone. Magnesium supports balance. Collagen provides the flexible matrix. Whole food sources like bone broth, sardines, leafy greens, and pasture-raised eggs can cover much of this foundation, with magnesium often requiring added attention. Creatine deserves a place in that discussion. Known for muscle, it also energizes osteoblasts through the ATP system supporting formation and mineralization while countering breakdown. Over time, that helps preserve structure and improves density. It's a targeted addition when you're serious about rebuilding, not just maintaining. Training should be appropriate for your current capacity. If heavy loading isn't feasible, blood flow restriction training can trigger growth responses with light weights. Whole body vibration adds a low impact way to stimulate formation, circulation, and balance. The goal is steady signals to rebuild, not sporadic strain that raises injury risk. Daily choices reinforce or erode progress. Walk every day. Get regular sunlight. Favor mineral and collagen-rich meals. Avoid processed seed oils and refined foods that interfere with absorption. 
skip soft drinks. Their phosphoric acid disrupts calcium-phosphorus balance and encourages calcium to leach from bone, even when your intake looks adequate. Broader health conditions play a role. Rheumatoid arthritis, chronic kidney disease, diabetes, and hyperparathyroidism all push remodeling in the wrong direction. Long courses of corticosteroids, anticonvulsants, and hormone-blocking therapies further suppress rebuilding. If those are in your picture, prevention becomes even more urgent, and activity plans should be consistent and conservative. Costs reflect the stakes. Fractures in men account for roughly a quarter of fracture-related health spending, and average much higher per case than in women due to complications and slower recovery. That's another reason prior fractures should trigger immediate treatment, nutrition, movement, and, when appropriate, targeted therapies without delay. If you want a simple filter for everyday decisions, use this. Does it help you move more, build minerals and collagen, or support balanced hormones? If the answer is yes, you're feeding the remodeling you need. If the answer is no, alcohol binges, smoking, long sitting, ultra processed food, frequent sodas, you're giving your skeleton a reason to weaken. Let's make this practical. If you're over 50, ask your clinician about a bone evaluation using the unified standard and consider REMS for a radiation-free baseline. If you've had a fracture already, act as if you've been flagged. Start the exercise, nutrition, and sunlight. Plan now while you sort the rest. Here's your challenge. Over the next four weeks, do three weight-bearing sessions weekly. Get brief midday sun exposure when sensible. Add foods rich in vitamins D and K2, magnesium, collagen, and consider creatine if appropriate. Remove soft drinks, smoking, and excess alcohol. If you're a man with low bone density, ask to check testosterone. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.